Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss valuation of American option using binomial option pricing model. Before going into the valuation of American option, we are required to know the difference between European option and American option. European options are those which can be exercised only on the date of maturity, while American options are those which can be exercised on or before the date of maturity. Since American options are uh, allowed to be exercised on or before the date of maturity, therefore, they are less riskier than the European option. And European options are more riskier since it is allowed to exercise it only on the date of maturity. Now, we will be determining the value of an American option. But before moving into the valuation, uh, one more thing I would like to add that American option and European options are just two style of trade. They are not the types of option. Remember this fact. Now, in last session, we have uh, done the valuation of European option. The same example I have considered over here also. A stock price is currently $100. Over each of the next two six month period, it is expected to go up by 10% or down by 10%. The risk free interest rate is 8% per annum with continuous compounding. What is the value of a one year call option with a strike price of $100? As we know, Call options are those which are exercised only when the spot market price on the date of maturity is greater than the strike price. Therefore, the payoff of a long position holder can be calculated using the formula that is ST minus K. Hence, using the same formula, the value of the option on any future date can be determined using the formula that is maximum of st minus k or 0 whichsoever value is maximum we will consider it as the value of the option on that given date here first of all we have to construct a binomial tree and in last session we have discussed how to construct it as you can see today the spot market price is 100 dollar and uh, the price will be increasing by 10 percent or decreasing by 10 percent so an increase of 10 percent means 100 will grow to 110 or 100 will decline to 90 this is for one time step that is for six months and here as it is mentioned it is a two six month period is there so again we are required to increase the price of the option from 110 to 121 that is an increase of 10 percent 100 to 99 that is a decrease of 10 percent then 92 99 an increase of 10 percent and 92 81 that is a decrease of 10 percent in last session only we have discussed how to determine the value of fuu fud and fdd here we will use this formula that is maximum of st minus k or 0 and uh, the st is 121 and k is 100 so st minus k 121 minus k that is 100 we get 21 and out of 21 and 0 21 is maximum so here i have taken a value of 21 similar similarly you can determine the value of fuu f sorry fud and fdd that is here st is 99 k is 100 so 99 minus 100 comes out to be minus 1 and my out of minus 1 and 0 0 is maximum so here i have taken the value of 0 in case of fdd st is 81 so 81 minus 100 comes out to be minus 19 and out of minus 19 and 0 0 is maximum so we have to take the value of 0 <coughs> This is valuation of American option and as we know American option can be exercised on the date of maturity or maturity or on any date before the date of maturity. So here we have to solve this problem node wise that is this is one node 110 is one node 90 is another node and 100 is one node and we must remember this thing <coughs> sorry. We must remember this thing that the node of 110 leads to a positive value of 21 and a value of 0. While in case of 90, it leads to 
a value of 0 and again a value of 0. So, we will not be solving for the node of 90, we will be solving only for the node of 110. Since it is having a positive, since it is having a positive value 21. 90 is, does not have any positive value therefore uh, positive on uh, 0 is there therefore we are not required to solve for 90. So here taking the node of 110 we are having a value of 21 and 0 and in addition to this the following information was provided to us in the question that is S0 is 100 price will increase or decrease by 10 percent rate of interest is 8 percent and T is 6 month that is 0.5 year and K is 100. <coughs> Sorry. In last session only we have discussed how to calculate the value of U. It is 121 divided by 110 comes out to be 1.1 and D can, can be calculated using the formula that is 99 divided by 110. So, it comes out to be 0.9. So, U is 1.1 and D is 0.9. Now, we are required to calculate the probability of upward movement that is P and the probability of downward movement that is 1 minus P. As we remember, P can be calculated using the formula E raised to the power RT minus D upon U minus D. We are having all the information available with us. We are just required to plug in this value into the equation and solve for the value of P. So, on solving, we are getting the value of P is equal to 0 0.7041. Now, we can calculate the value of 1 minus p that is 1 minus 0 0.7041 comes out to be 0 0.2959. Now, using this information, we have to calculate the value of f u over here theoretically. So, theoretically, we can calculate the value using the following formula that is p multiplied by f u u, p leads to f u u. So, p multiplied by f u u. 1 minus p multiplied by f u d whole multiplied by exponential raised to power minus r t since it is for 6 month period. So, only one time period is involved over here. Hence, we have discounted it by one time period. So, plugging in all the values into the equation, we get 0 0.7041 multiplied by 21 plus 0 0.2959 multiplied by 0 whole multiplied by exponential raised to power minus 0 0.08 multiplied by 0 0.5. On solving this, we get Fu equal to 14.2063. This is the theoretical value of Fu. Now, as we know, the call option is exercised when ST is greater than K. And as you can see, here ST is 110 and K is 100. So, 110 minus 100 comes out to be 10 and the theoretical value is 14.2063. So, here we have to consider that value which is maximum. As you can see, here I have taken a new formula that is maximum of ST minus K or 14.2063, the calculated value. So, just plug in the value of ST and K. As you can see here, I have plugged in 110 minus 100 comma 14.2063. On solving, we get maximum of 10 or 14.2063. The maximum out of these two values is 14.2063. So, I have taken the same value. Therefore, the value of FU is equal to 14.2063. Moving ahead. This is the binomial tree that we are having. Here FUU is 21, FUD is 0 and FDD is 0. That's why we have not solved for the node of 90. And here the value of FU is 14.2063 and FD is 0. Now using this information we have to solve for the value of F. So here we have taken the node of 100 an increase of 10%, decrease of 10%, FU is 14.2063 and FD is 0. P we have already calculated, 1 minus P we have already calculated. So, solving for the value of F, again using the same formula that is P multiplied by FU, uh, we must remember the formula like this way. P leads to FU, so P multiplied by FU, 1 minus P leads to FD, so 1 minus P multiplied by FD. Now, FU and FD is the is the 
value of the option after six months so this is these are the future value therefore we are required to discount it at a rate of r for a time period t so here we have multiplied it by exponential raised to the power minus rt so just plug in the values into the equation and solve for the value of f you will get 9.6105 therefore the value of american call option is equal to 9.6105 so you can pause the video wherever you like and uh, try to consider uh, try to solve for the values on your own moving ahead here again i have taken the same example which we have taken for the call option for simplicity and uh, we, it will be simple for us to understand if we are seeing the same value over and over again so uh, it is the case of american put option and we must remember the fact that put option is exercised only when k is greater than st therefore the payoff of long position holder will be equal to k minus st hence the value of future value of option can be calculated can be calculated using the following formula that is fq or fd can be determined using the formula maximum of k minus st or zero whichsoever value is maximum we will consider the same value again the same binomial tree we are having from 100 to 110 100 to 90 for six month period and again after another six months the price will increase from 110 to 121 99 90 to 99 92 81 here you can see we have changed the value of fuu fud and fdd uh, as we know the value of uh, call uh, put option can be calculated using the formula that is k minus st or 0 so here st is 121 and k is 100 so 100 minus 121 leads to minus 21 out of minus 21 and 0 0 is maximum so we have taken the value of 0 and uh, again here st is 99 and k is 100 so 100 minus 99 comes out to be 1 and out of 0 and 1 1 is maximum so we have taken the value of 1 and in the last case fdd the value is st is 81 k is 100 so 100 minus 81 comes out to be 19 dollars and out of 19 and 0 19 is maximum so we have to take the value of 19 dollar and as you can see here 110 node leads to a value of 0 as well as to a value of 1 and 90 leads to a value of 1 as well as 19 so we are required to solve it for all the nodes first of all i have taken the node of 110 110 leads to a the value of 0 and 1 so we will be solving it using the same formula as we have done in the case of call option u will be 1.1 d will be 0.9 <coughs> the probability of upward movement and the probability of downward movement can be calculated using the same formula and it comes out to be 0 0.7041 and 1 minus p comes out to be 0 0.2959 calculating the value of fu all the values are available with us p is 0 0.7041 fuu is 0 1 minus p is 0 0.2959 fud is 1 and r is 8 percent t is 6 month so just plug in all the values into the equation and solve for the value of fu we will get 0.2843 now again here we have to determine which value we have to take as fu as you can see here i have to change the formula it is fu equal to maximum of k minus st comma 0.2843 the value that we have calculated and k is 100 and st is 110 so 100 minus 110 comes out to be minus 10 and out of minus 10 and 0.2843 obviously 0.2843 is maximum so we have taken the value of fu equal to 0.2843 as you can see over here the value of fu will be 0.2843 next i have taken the node of 90 as you can see 90 leads to 99 and 81 and the value of fuu uh, uh, sorry this is fud fud is 1 and fdd is 19 so determining the value of fd 
using the same formula that is p multiplied by p multiplied by f u d plus 1 minus p multiplied by f d d multiplied by exponential raised to the power r t. Just plug in all the values into the equation and solve for the value of f d. On solving you will get 6.07814. Again the same thing we will do f t can be determined as follows that is maximum of k minus s t or the calculated value that is 6.07814. And here k is 100 and st is 90. So 100 minus 90, 100 minus 90 comes out to be $10. And out of $10 and 6.07814, obviously 10 is maximum. So we have to take the value of 10. So the value of FD, as you can see over here, the value of FD, we have to take 10. I feel you are getting it that uh, we have to use a different formula that we were using in case of binomial option pricing model in case of European option. Here we have to change the formula. We have to compare compare the value of k minus st using the calculated value. That's why we will be having a different value over here. Moving ahead. FD is $10. Now moving ahead, this is the binomial tree that we were having. If you, if you, we have calculated and it is 0 0.028, sorry, 0 0.2843 and FD we have calculated it is $10. Now using the information, we have to calculate the value of the American put option. Here uh, we have taken a node of 100. It leads to a value of 110 and FU is 0.28. 4, 3 and fd is 10 so just use this formula that is f is equal to p multiplied by fu plus 1 minus p multiplied by fd whole multiplied by exponential raised to the power rt again you can remember this formula like this way p leads to fu so p multiplied by fu 1 minus p leads to fd so 1 minus p multiplied by fd now these are the future values so we are required to discount it for one time period so exponential raised to the power minus rt just plug in all the values into the equation and solve for the value of f on solving for the value of f you will get 3.0353 Hence, this is the value of the American put option that is 3.0353. So just uh, you can practice on these two types of valuation. We will discuss in the next session binomial option pricing model we have discussed. Now in next session we will be doing Black Skulls option pricing model. Thank you.